Well, a, a scientific approach to the examination of phenomena is a defence against a pure emotion of fear. Just keep calm, hold and continue while there's time. Now, counter to the previous syllogism, now this is a tricky one, so <laughs> follow me carefully, <laughs> it may prove a comfort, that if we postulate, as we just have, the probability is, is that the law of probability will not operate as a factor, then we can take it, the law of probability will operate as a factor, but within unsub or supernatural forces. And since it obviously hasn't been doing so, we can take it that we are not held within unsub or supernatural forces after all. In all probability, that is. Which is a great relief to me, personally. Except that... Well, we've been spinning coins for as long as I can remember. And in all that time, if it is all that time, I don't suppose either one of us was a couple of gold coins either up or down. You see, the equanimity of your average pitcher and tosser of coins depends upon a law, or rather a tendency, or, or let us say a probability, or, or in any case a mathematical calculable chance that states he will not upset himself by losing too often, nor upset his opponent by winning too much. The sun goes up about as often as it came down in the long run, and a coin shows heads about as often as it shows tails. And then a messenger arrived. We've been sent for. Nothing happened. 92 consecutive coins have come down heads. 92 consecutive times. And for the last three minutes, on the wind of a windless day, have I heard the sound of drums and flutes. 